What's up, ladies and dickheads? <laughs> what is up? We are out here. Well, first mission here is to get some sex juice because I'm a, I literally have a blinking light. Shut that up Dude, I got the worst fucking issue going on right now. I have like a pinched nerve on my left ass cheek. Don't ask me how the fuck that happens, but it does and it hurts. So I'm going to be walking like an old man with a 18 inch steel to up its ass. Hi. Hi. Can I please do a five doll hairs on three? Three? Three, yeah. Thank you. Uh, so uh, on my way to AAA today and uh... Thanks to my awesome patrons. Got a few more questions to answer here. Always love doing the patron Q&As. But of course, I'm gonna fill my baby up with her hot, soppy, flammable juices. Oh yeah. So 4.50 and I'm overflowed. Wow, so my light was blinking and I still have 50 cents left from five doll hairs. Man, I guess gas prices don't really affect you if you got a grom. Oh god, I gotta wait for this for 50 cents. Man, so I'm doing a, uh, I'm doing something I've never even thought I would ever do, or at least do anytime soon, and, uh, those of you that know, I, I got my, uh, I inherited my grandma's car that passed away and um, I guess uh, I've been driving it this whole time and I don't know if I was really supposed to because I never did the title change on it yet so I guess I've been driving it with my deceased under my deceased grandparents name so I didn't even know that was a bad thing till I looked it up today and I found out that like I guess if I was to get in an accident that would have been bad even though I put insurance on it, like I made, I insured my car and shit, but I guess, I don't know, there's some technicalities with that. But uh, yeah, I have both of my grandparents' death certificates in my backpack and uh, we're going to go to AAA and hope everything goes smooth and I can get the car put in my name. Whoa, what the fuck was that? bike just like choked out real quick I've never felt that I wonder if it's because I put too much gas what the fuck this thing's choking out on me hold the fuck up this thing's choking out on me I might have put too, too much gas damn it Hail to the no. Hail to the no. I just got gas and this fucking happens. It's like super fucking hesitant right now. Either something like went in my gas tank or something or fucking something. You saw correctly guys, my Grom finally shit the bed so as of now it's a few days after you saw the grom shit the bed been doing some trial and error tests dumped the old gas put new gas in thinking the gas was the issue seeing as that happened directly after filling up my bike ran just flawlessly up until i fucking filled gas up there and then i left that station and then all of a sudden my grom was doing that and uh yeah to say it eked the fuck out of me is an understatement it eked me so bad that i made this video 
and forgot to hit record on my camera already and just did a whole fucking waste of life vlog where I wasn't even talking to nobody because my damn camera wasn't on. Uh, but it's a few days later now. A little bit, uh, you know, been sleeping out a little bit. So, uh, yeah, I took my uh, whole bike mostly apart as much as I could. You mean, I mean, like, without, you know, disassembling the engine and shit. And, uh... No hose problems, no hose disconnects, no vacuum leaks, none of that shit. So, uh, uh, either something's clogged in the fuel system, maybe something came out of that pump, I don't know what the fuck it was, but, uh, God, to make things even worse, my buddy Brian told me that, uh, he's pretty sure my fucking just piston shot on the damn bike. His bike was 300 miles shy of mine, and his bike did that same thing, had the same issues, had the same problems, had the same look, right after getting gas as well, and his piston fucking, like, his piston rings collapsed or some shit, so, um, yeah, dude, if that's what it is, I'm gonna be fucking ecstatically fucking pissed, and, uh, yeah, and if that is what happened to the piston ring after me changing the fucking oil every 2,000 miles on that thing. I know that the Grom engine's known for starving oil to the motor. It's a pretty known shitty design flaw on that bike. But 8,500 miles and I don't even stunt that thing. I don't ping it off the rev limiter all the time. Oh man, if it is the piston, I'm gonna change my mind on fucking Honda real fucking quick. But that's the current status of the Grom now. My favorite fucking motorcycle out of commission. I just hope for fucking damn certain it's just a fuel issue. Because, man, if something happened with my, like, piston and the motor, that's going to suck tip. But I guess on a positive note, my girlfriend's got the Z125 that just sits in the garage, barely ever ridden. So, uh, this thing's probably going to be my Grom replacement. <laughs> But yeah, without uh, shit in the bed anymore on the Grom, we're going to be on the Z25 today, and uh, we're going to be doing a patron Q&A. Always love doing the patron Q&As. Uh, thank you guys for all the patrons that did some questions today, and uh, let's go ahead and get started. Tanner, any meets out of state? Face reveal? Primary, what's your primary job? How long have you and Franny been together? So any meets out of state? Um, as for the any meets out of state, uh, that's a big negative. As you guys know, I'm probably like the fucking brokest motovlogger in the game. I don't got all the cool sponsors. I don't get monthly checks. I don't got fucking companies that I'm working with sending me thousands of dollars a month like a lot of other dudes do. I don't got any of that shit. So, therefore, I don't have the funds to even remotely go out of state on my own, let alone do a meet. So, yeah, out of state meets are 100% nothing even remotely viable. So, uh, yeah, that's not going to happen. Face reveal? Any plans on a face reveal? <laughs> What's my primary job? My primary job is going fucking balls deep in bee holes. That's my primary job. How long have me and Franny been together? We've been together for almost ses años. A good old ses años. Derek B is from our next question here, and he asks, dealt with any health issues? Surgery? Funny enough, I actually ironically answered that, I think, in my last video. I talked about uh, me having my scarlet fever strep throat little episode when I was like seven years old. I can go ahead and retell it. Uh, when I was seven years old, I had scarlet fever and strep throat at the same time. They said it was probably from me like itching my chicken pox, so that chicken pox right before that. And uh, they were saying that it was probably from me itching my chicken pox and putting my hands in my mouth like the dirty fucking kid I was. And uh, yeah, that might be why I rarely, rarely ever get sick anymore is because I've probably like built the shit out of my immune system when I was just a little dickhead. <laughs> I'm so lucky it was supposed to rain for like four days straight and today just I woke up and it was blue skies and I magically said it wasn't raining today I'm so so excited but it's probably gonna get all green again that's dope oh yeah and you asked if I did any surgery thankfully I haven't had to do any surgery but uh I mean one of the things I guess I could talk to you guys about is uh I've, I've been having like really bad nerve issues in my le left leg like, uh, I guess a feeling of like a pinched nerve right by my, right to the left side of my left ass cheek and it shoots pain down my leg and I'll just be randomly walking or sitting a certain way and it, it, it literally hurts so bad and triggers so bad that it makes my like leg feel like it collapses. 
but we'll go ahead and move on here we got one from crnb he asked if i ever heard of m13 and he said uh he's one of the few that got him into motorcycles and shit uh dude m13 is the grandfather of moto vlogs man he's like the og i think he's recognized as any moto vlogger i mean if you call me an og moto vlogger i call him an og moto vlogger he's more og than me he's the one that's been he was one of the few him and jake and i think spicy 110 they all uh were dudes that were like kind of got me into moto vlog and were like the first dudes i saw with a gopro kind of like recording their rides and i was like oh this is cool as hell what the hell and kind of got me into the whole scene so yeah i most definitely heard of m13 he's not a, not only have i heard about him he's like the the certified moto vlogger og of moto vlogging most definitely i know my grom shit the bed and stuff but man this bike's brand new and only has 1100 miles in it there's something about this bike it doesn't feel as good as the grom and also man you could totally you could totally tell the sound difference between a quality exhaust and this one this one's like one of those no-name exhausts and it just sounds like it literally sounds like a constant queef coming out of the bike but it's way better than stock so that's all that matters gotta check my peel cocks real quick I got my peel cocks all caught up. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to Willie P. Have I ever been to Colorado? And if not, why the fuck not? Yeah, I've never been to Colorado, but what's funny about Colorado, you guys know how I'm like, I'm stick to California. I love California, and this is pretty much my main state. I, I, I've been to a lot of other states, and there's ne I've never been to a state where I'm like, oh man, I'd rather live here than California. But besides that, Colorado actually is a state that I can't say I would want to live there because I know their weather isn't the most motorcycle friendly weather. I know I'm sure they have their summers and stuff, but Colorado, just the fact of like uh, the atmosphere, the niceness of it, legal tree even out there. I wouldn't mind going out there. I wouldn't mind checking that state out. But off that tangent, one fucking thing noticeable is like this bike needs some more acceleration ropes i think it's just because she has the stock sprocket i have the 14 tooth in the front she still has that stock 15 man just going down a tooth in the front if you're a bigger guy like 200 pounds uh it's literally like a must-have mod for these bikes to go one up in there i'm sorry one down in the front sprocket because that shit really helps you really notice that little bit of get up and go and that little bit more of acceleration look full throttle right now this bike's a little little eh but that completes my patron Q&A thank you guys Tamar or Tanner Derek CR and Willie thank you guys for uh, taking upon yourself to go ahead and ask me some nice little cues I'm gonna have to get used to this bike for a little bit because I'm sure my Grom's gonna be out of commission for a little while. Doesn't that suck like when your shit breaks down? It's like that's such a such a shitty fucking feeling. I'm just so grateful that I at least still have my ZX10 and that bike's been super solid to me. And my girlfriend thankfully having this baby. Hey man, that helps me out so much. And it's a win-win too because this bike's a year old and only has 1100 miles on it <laughs> this bike needs to be ridden gosh this feels so different than my grom see my grom only has the minus one front tooth uh ram air intake the camaro one and a full two brothers exhaust and man just those three tiny little mods make it feel so much more like responsive and peppier than this but this does have a higher rev range so i'm gonna assume the gearing's like maybe a tad different i'm not sure well guys let's gonna go ahead and conclude this little video uh, i'm gonna go ahead and uh try to figure out what the fuck's up with that grom man i really need to figure it out
As always, thank you guys for watching. All links will be down below if you want to support me in any way, shape, or form. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the fuck and a like button. You guys have a, a real good day. I'll see you guys later.